Yo, what is up? If you guys want to promote your music on the channel, hit me up on Instagram, and I'll make sure your music gets promoted on the channel. So, check that out. And now, on to the video. Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Caleb here. Back in another video. And today, we're talking about Father of Four, which is Offset's album, you know. And I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on it. But before I do that, make sure you check out my last couple of videos. I did a review over Drip or Drown 2 and also Harvard Dropout. Now, one thing I will say is that Offset is definitely my favorite member of the Migos, you know. He has probably the best flow out of all three of them. Now, arguably, some people will say take off, but I'm, I'm more of an Offset guy. So going into this album, it came after three other albums, uh, Culture 2, which I really have a problem with. Um, also Quavo, Huncho, which I thought was okay. And then Takeoff's album, The Last Rocket, which was which was fine, you know. Now you could say these albums have been worked on for the past couple years, but the, the fact remains is that the Migos are still oversaturating the market, you know. I know it's the beginning of the year and usually they would drop Culture 3, but I don't think they're gonna drop Culture 3 for a little while, so might as well get this out the way. Um, this was supposed to be dropping in December of last year, but it didn't because, you know, Offset had problems with Cardi B and they broke up, so they had to stop this and he had to get back together with her. Now they're back together. It's just like a, a lot of crazy stuff. One thing I really do enjoy, though, is like it's regardless of which member it is, they all have good beats. Like, they just have great taste in beats, bro. You know what I mean? Now, out of the three albums I reviewed, this is probably the best out of the three because it wasn't trash like Lil Pump's album and it wasn't like repetitive like Gunna's album. But it was repetitive. It just wasn't repetitive in a way that like all the songs sound the same. It was just more like the theme, overall theme of every song. Like either every song is talking about Cardi, every song is talking about his kids, you know. Every song was talking about how he was broke. Like, we get it, bro. You used to be broke, and now you have a house on your neck. Like, you know what I mean, bro? Like, it's, it's similar, like, themes, like, repeated, you know? That's, like, the only problem I have with it. Other than that, I thought it was a pretty decent album. Maybe 16 songs is a little bit too much, you know? Because, like, things get repeated after a while. But, like I said, it was pretty decent, in my opinion. Like, probably the best out of the three I reviewed. My favorite song on the album is definitely Red Room. I think that's a really memorable song you know he's telling a story you know he had an accident he almost died like crashing into a tree you know he's talking about many different things in that song so i enjoy that song probably the most um but what do you guys think of the album do you like it or you think it's trash let me know in the comment section below but that'll be it for now if you like the video make sure you hit the like button and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and i'll see the rest of you guys later Hey you, yeah you, I see you sitting there. Let me ask you, how do you feel about Trippy Red? Okay, 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 how do you feel about Travis Scott? Okay, okay, how do you feel about Playboy Cardi? You know what, how do you feel about Lil Uzi? Like, these are one of the best in the game. Okay, so if you like all these, this is probably the channel for you, as well as some of your favorite artists. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. I'll wait.